Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at a Husqvarna T540 top panel chainsaw. Customer complaint is that it's not oiling correctly. So whether it be homeowner or professional, if the saw is not oiling properly, you know, you want to make sure there's oil in the tank, obviously. But the first thing I really look at is the oil feed hole in the bar. We'll pop this bar and chain off of here and look at that hole and see what we got. Chain looks a little dry. And sure enough, that feed hole is plugged up. Now, just because that hole is plugged like this doesn't mean that that's the problem. That could be the result of a problem, right? So we're going to take a little compressed air. We're going to clean out the rails and blow out that hole. You see we got it clean now. And then we're going to investigate a little deeper and see if the saw itself is actually oiling or not. So we'll look at the tank and we're looking for debris. We don't want to see sawdust down in there, dirt or anything. I'm looking to see that the filter is still on the end of the hose and that the filter or screen isn't plugged up. So as long as there's a little bit of oil in there, we can fire this thing up and see if it's working or not. Okay, it's dry, it's not working. So if we were to just cleaned up that bar and put it back together, that would have been a waste of time. Because the saw isn't actually oiling. So let's spin this clutch off of here. You notice I held the kill switch to the off position when I did that. There's a fair chance that the saw could have started have been uh, just running, it's warm, and hitting it with the impact there, spinning it, you know, that thing could have fired up. So we're going to pull this side cover off of here. I don't know why, but Husky used a couple different size screws on this. We're going to need our T20 to get the smaller one off. And if this uh, other screw wasn't missing right here, we would... Pull that off with a T20 as well. Now the proper way to get this cover off is not depicted in this video. Um, I'm trying to force it off of here. I think I'm going to save myself a little bit of time by doing that. And in the end, as always, uh, I end up having to take that handle off anyway. I don't know why I even bother trying to fight it. I think it's turned into a game with me, but the right way to do this is to loosen that screw that's holding that brake lever on there, and then the cover will just come right off. There's no prying or fighting it. Let's uh, get some of this dirt out of the way here. All right, so we have our worm gear removed from the saw. Let's take a closer look at it. And you can see that the threads are buggered up on there. Now, is that the problem or is that the result of a problem? At this point, you would want to look at the oil pump, make sure that it turns freely. Uh, the amount of debris that was packed around the gear of this pump, you know, some of that could have got in there and jammed up between the, the mesh of the gears and caused that to strip. At this point, you could also remove the pump and inspect the feed hose area, make sure that it's clear and there's no debris built up there. You could blow air back through the feed hose into the tank. 
to make sure there's no debris in that line. Uh, you won't see any of that here in this video. So I don't know what I'm messing around with this plate for here. It looks like I already plan on replacing it. And uh, it's very likely that that tear that's in that chain guide plate is the reason that debris got up in there around by the oil pump. So, you know, some guys will look at that plate and just think, well, I don't care if that thing's tore up a little bit. Well, you should because it's just letting dirt get into areas where it's not supposed to be. So here we go. We have to remove the handle anyway to get this cover back on there. And sure enough, when the handle was removed, that little lever and spring got bumped out of place. So we're going to have to put these pieces back where they belong. The uh, brake lever rides on top of this uh, little metal lever that the spring is pushing on here that I'm working on right now. And trying to get that brake handle um, situated on top of that lever, it's kind of hard. you got to get that lever to compress before you can get the brake handle to fit in there. So we'll get this side cover bolted on first. That ain't gonna work. It's a T20. Yeah, it's stripped. All right, let's try and get this handle on here. We'll get it situated where it belongs uh, over the stud. But then we got to push that little, oh, I don't know. I keep saying lever. One of them's a brake handle, the other one's a, a little lever, I guess. We got to get that compressed a little bit to get the brake handle to drop down in behind it. And sure enough, while I'm right in the middle of trying to do the worst part of this job, someone had to come over and talk to me. So do we got it yet or not? It doesn't look like it. We're going to take a pick and try and hook it a little bit and pull it back. I think we got it now. Put the screw in there before we lose it. Again, wrong bit. There we go. We'll go back and tighten that other one up, too. All right, this Husqvarna crankshaft is drilled so that you can lubricate the clutch bearing without taking anything apart. So you'll see here I take the needle greaser, and if I push in from the end here, it comes out right where that bearing would be. I like to pump a little grease through there before I put the bearing on because if there's any dirt built up in there, we're, we're pumping it through and, and kind of flushing that cross-drilled hole. I think Husqvarna recommends greasing that needle bearing about once a week if you are using the saw daily. All right, on goes the clutch drum. in the clutch. We'll just give it a little burp with the uh, impact. Special Husqvarna clutch removal tool. All right, let's fire this thing up and see if we're successful, if it's going to be oiling or not. That's all I got for you on a Husqvarna T540 top handle chainsaw worm gear replacement. Thanks for watching.
Later.